What's going on guys, welcome back to Unbox Monday. So this Unbox Monday is based on the Ravel 1968 Ford Mustang GT 2-in-1. So let's go in the box, see what's on the box, open it up, see what comes inside, and take over detail later on. Alright, so first off, we're going to look at decals, and the decals actually look very good. You got some striping, license plates, and you your Ford drag car decals. Very good. Alright, let's take a look at the clear parts. The typical clear parts, you get your main windshield and back of ass one in one unit. And let's take your headlights and fog lights and tail lights. Pre-tinted tail lights, which is always nice. Love that. Alright, let's move on to the chrome trees. There's three chrome trees. So I got these wheels right here. I'm not sure. I think these are the drag wheels. If I'm correct, I'm not sure. But those look nice. You get your nice grill. Steering wheel. Yeah, and our tiny tree of chrome. That's need your drag wheels right here. It's a sauce. Yeah. Very cool. Then the final chrome tree has your bumpers. Here are the wheels. All covers, shifter, engine parts, filter. Very cool. Alright, move on to the white trees. This spool it just has your front and bumper, front and back bumper. So here's your back assembly. Front bumper, very nice. All right, this one has your suspension, engine parts, your fan, oil filter, or oil pan, I should say. Here's the engine, got some pulleys, radiator. Has your exhaust or yeah, not exhaust your suspension, your axle. There's part of your exhaust right there. Oil filter, power steering, or brake booster. That's your brakes. <laughs> power steering. I'm sorry. That's your brakes. There's your engine. Suspension, this tree, here's your exhaust, here's your water pump, and you got some bracing for the engine bay, and what's like uh, part of your axles right here. Cool. This 
one has your interior parts. Looks like a back, back bench, steering column. Here's your stock steering wheel. Oh, I'm sorry, there. I'm not sure which one's which. That one might be your drag, I'm not sure. More interior parts. Here's your dash. Very cool dash. And your front seats. Alright, this one you have more wheels. So these could be your drag wheels right here. And here's your drag parts actually. So your roll cage, your lift kit for your back axle so you put the bigger stick wheel tires in the back. Bigger suspension, bigger exhaust. Here's your drag sprue right here. It's nicely bolted, it's separate. Right, this one has more interior parts. Here's the side panels and your door panels. Very cool. And more drag parts. Get your hood scoop, more an air filter. Our part of the interior and you get your drag where the scoop goes on your hood right here. Alright. Alright, next up let's take a look at the interior. Get the interior bucket with engine bay molded in, get your battery, very nice battery molded in. Get some textured carpet in there, which is pretty cool. Harvey back seat is molded in. Alright, this tree just has your chassis. Very nice chassis. Some lighting here, you might just have to uh, grind that out or sand it out. Not too big of a deal. Okay, cool. And then, get your body right here. Very nice body. Very well molded. I don't see too many mold lines. There's a mold line here. Right there. And going on to the back. It's on both sides. And yeah, there's a mold line up there on the fender. Your typical mold lines where they should be. They should easily stand out. Pretty cool. Big low cream pens for your interior and chassis. It's pretty cool. Neat. Alrighty. So you got some accessories. You do get some screws in this kit. And your metal axles. And last up is your tires. So you get two drag tires. Now flexible. Sand those up, scuff them up, make them look a little bit used. Put some aftermarket decals on there for name branded tires. And then you have four stock tires, which have good tread on them. Very cool. And you also put some name brand tires on these too. This muscle car back then had name branded tires on them. And I almost forgot is you have your stock hood here for your stock car, which is very nice. Very good detail. Cool. So after taking a very good look at this guys, I do recommend this kit. It seems like a nice, simple, easy, go flow kit. Not too many parts, but a very good looking car in my opinion. You can build this as a stock. Ford Mustang or a drag Mustang, which is actually pretty cool. And put some aftermarket decals on there if you want to go with a different sponsor or go with some name branded tires. It's obviously, you can go all out on this kit. But that'll be it for this review, guys. And until my next Unbox Monday, I'll catch you guys there. Bye for now.